man climbs into the building's garbage chute before getting cut into pieces. For what? More details after this. Hello everyone and welcome back to AG's Point of View where I give you my analysis of the most popular topics in the world today. Today's video we have a weird one. Not too funny but funny but I don't know. My emotions is all over the place with this video. Before I dive into the details of the video, if you're new here, welcome. Welcome to AG's Point of View. Do me a favor, hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button as well. It'll bring more awesome, loving, and wonderful people over similar to yourself. All my normal subscribers, thanks for coming back. I'm diving in. A horror video captures one man's final moments as he climbs through the building rubber chute, only to later be found dead and sliced to pieces by the compactor below. Ugh. CCTV footage showed images, um, let's see, showed images from the first floor hallway in Brooklyn, New York, USA, where the incident took place. Two people watched it on and, ch and chatted to the man in what turned out to be his final moments. Around 4 a.m. local time Friday as he climbed in. A short time later, his mangled body was found at the bottom of the chute. In the video, the male, later reported to be his in his 50s, can be seen putting one foot in the chute as he spoke to another man. A woman joined them as he struggled, then he succeeded in getting his other foot into the chute. As the, at this point, he shimmied into the chute. She held the door, which he was sitting on, open. In his tragic final minutes, whistle, whistled, seemingly still in conversation with both of them, he got his torso into the chute before it's just his arm visible and he vanished inside. The onlooking man appeared to lean forward with a phone, filming or shining a light inside the chute as both witnesses seemingly looked into this tube to watch his descent. It is unclear when, but at some point, they both seem to re realize something had happened, you think? And the male linked deeper into the shaft as the woman held his legs. Police are reporting not treating the death as suspicious. The New York Post reported that neighbors speculated the deceased may have dropped his keys in and the police were eventually called to the scene. Retiree Anthony Gordon lives on the fourth floor, told the outlet, if you throw your keys in the incinerator, leave them hello you can always get more keys made but you cannot get another life short and sweet ladies and gentlemen guy climbed into the trash chute trash compactor whatever you want to call it but you're supposed to put trash in there okay i don't give a damn what fell in there okay you could have dropped your laptop computer in it. Guess what? You go get yourself another laptop computer. I'm not chasing it. Number one, <clears throat> it's a reason why they call it a trash compact. Generally, you put trash in there, you put trash in there, you put trash in there. It's gonna take up space, okay? I can't believe I'm explaining this, but at any rate, it's gonna take up space. Once the space is taken up, it needs to be compacted so you can fit more bags in. So that way, once you get to a certain point and it gets full, you can take the, 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 uh, the, the, I guess the rubbish people could come along. They can get the actual, you know, the dumpster or whatever is sitting, the container, whatever is sitting in and replace it with another one and take that trash off somewhere else. So, I'm guessing and I'm being nice on this. I'm guessing that this gentleman thought that he could just slide on down in there. You end up in the dumpster, right? So now you can fish through and find your keys and then climb back up and get back out. That ain't how it works. It's called a trash compactor for a reason, bro. 
and the fact that they found you in pieces, I know that was a painful death. I know it was. And it was four in the morning. So I'm guessing he was drunk. Okay. I'm guessing he was high. I'm guessing he was drunk. You know what I'm saying? He went, you know, they tried to be nice and try to say in his apartment, but he was in the projects. He was in the projects in Brooklyn. Okay. And you climbing down to shoot to get your keys four in the morning. Because you locked out. How'd you lose your keys down in there? You probably wanted to go throw something in the trash. And your keys got stuck on there because you had your keys out. So boom, you threw them in there, but oh damn, I dropped my keys. Let me go in and get my keys real quick. Not one of those two people that was with him, a light didn't pop up on their head saying, hey, I don't think that's a good idea. So that lets me know, either they were both drunk or high or wasn't thinking or just flat out stupid, okay? Cause so, you know, things happen, things happen, things happen. But at any rate, it sucks to be him. He's not here anymore. You would think that the full grown mind, you know what I'm saying, you know, you would have a little more thought process going to go into it before you start doing some stuff. But, you know, people don't think these days. The internet is making everyone very stupid. If you like what you've heard, please don't hesitate to hit the subscribe button down below. Hit that like button as well to bring more awesome and loving people over, similar to yourself. Check me out on my Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, YouTube Shorts. Um, let's have a conversation. You know what I'm saying? So let me know. Never mind. I'm not even going to ask the question because it's, it's, it's a dumb question. You know what I'm saying? But at any rate, we'll be going live at the end of this month. Um, you know, probably some time. I'm, I'm gonna post the time. You know, what I'm saying on a lot on the on a next upcoming videos and let you guys know that I'm coming live as a meet and greet with AGs. Get to know me. I get to know you. Um, I'm just gonna have a good time. You know, what I'm saying. So, you know, I got some things I want to say. I want things I want to do. The direction that I want to go in with the channel and all that. So, I need your input. So, I need you guys to come along. Um, I will be posting the dates and the times throughout the weeks. You know what I'm saying? More than likely, it's going to be the last Saturday in August. Probably around, I'm saying, 8 o'clock, 8, 9 o'clock Eastern, Eastern Standard Time. And, uh, you know, let's just chop it up. Meantime, between time, I love every single one of y'all. Um, think before you do anything. I know my viewers don't do nothing like that. So I know y'all way smarter than this gentleman we just described. But um, at any rate, I love every single one of y'all. Please be extra careful. Um, yeah, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.